Hey, what's up everyone? Chris here from Mixdown Online. Cool Cubase tip for you. How to create an input bus preset. All right, so before we jump in again, like, share, and if you're new here on this channel, subscribe to the channel. And for all of you, click that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, now how to create an input bus preset in Cubase. Now, what is an input bus? Now you've heard of the term bus before. You know, you heard me talking about the mix bus, uh, the drum bus, and so on. So what is a bus exactly? It's an invisible pathway, okay, that will link uh, the audio from point A to point B, okay, basically. So in most DAWs, uh, you have aux tracks, okay, you create an aux track uh, where you insert a reverb or you can just group a bunch of tracks together, okay, and uh, you select buses, okay, that will be the link between the audio and this aux track. Now in Cubase, it works a bit differently. Uh, a bus will link the hardware to the software, okay? So it's a bit unique. Just to show you how that works, uh, basically if in Cubase you go into studio on top and the studio setup, if you have an older version of Cubase, this is called device setup, but it is the same thing, okay? So I am in studio setup. I select on the left my audio interface and I have listed all the available inputs out of my interface. Now, in my case, I have a 16 in and out interface. Some of you will have a two in and two out interface, some four, some eight inputs. It depends, okay? So um, this is where it's gonna be listed. All the inputs are gonna be listed right here, okay? Uh, now, some of those are active right now and some are inactive. So to check whatever is active or inactive, you click on F4, which will bring up the audio connections window. Now, if we focus on the input tab, uh, this is what I have. Like right now, I have my uh, my preset set up to a drum recording session, which I've uh, done last weekend. Okay, but by default, Cubase will give you this window, which is only going to be one input bus um, option here. Okay, so when I talk about bus, this is what we get. On the left, we have the list of bus that uh, has been created in your session. Uh, you can add as many buses as you want. So for example, let's create four mono buses. Click on add bus and I have four of them. Now on the right side, on the device port column, okay, we have the available inputs out of your interface. So in my case, I have 16 inputs. So if I click, let's say on mono in four, um, now right now it is uh, allocated to my input number six. I can just click and select my input four instead if I want, okay? So everything I record into my uh, input number four out of my interface will be um, allocated directly to my mono in four bus, which will be then available as an input routing for each audio tracks, okay? So if I select one audio track and then click the input here, okay? Uh, you're gonna see all the buses that I have created, okay, listed right here. So if I wanna record, um, for example, on this track, I wanna record my input number four of my interface, I just select mono in four, which is the bus I located to my input out of my interface. So I hope that makes sense. Um, now, the cool thing here is you can create presets. Okay, let's say I'm good, I'm happy with that, and I'm gonna use that input setup quite often. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the plus sign right here and click on store. Okay, click on the plus sign, which is the store preset, and name that to whatever. There you go, bus preset, click on OK. And this this setup, okay, this layout is going to be saved in a preset, which is then going to be available right here if I click on the uh, preset arrow, okay? Um, now, by default, Cubase has some presets already set up for me, okay, according to the, uh, the amount of inputs available of the interface, okay? So in your case, these presets will be different than what I have uh, for mine, that, you know, that goes according to your interface, okay? Uh, so now on top, I have my own presets. If I want to delete a preset, I just click on the minus sign right here, it's going to delete the selected preset. Uh, so getting back to my drum session, I already had a preset set up for it. But just before, yeah, just a quick thing here. You can also rename 
all the buses, okay? Which can be very helpful, okay? So you can rename that to whatever name you want. And uh, let's say input one, for example, or, you know, whatever uh, name you want to name the bus, you can just do it right here, okay? Uh, in my case, if I load my preset, my drum preset, all of my buses has the same name as my uh, audio tracks, okay? So my kick in is uh, on my first input out of my interface. My second bass drum microphone is plugged into my second preamp, okay, which is uh, going into my second input of my interface, okay, um, so and so on. So in my case, I am using uh, channel 1 through 11 and then 13, okay, so probably 12 is my talkback microphone, so that's why I don't use it here. Uh, but anyways, you get the idea. All of my, uh, all the microphones that I use are listed. I actually named the uh, the instrument, the mic is uh, is miking, okay, as a bus name. Okay, so kick in is my first bus, which is my first channel. Kick out is my second bus, which is my input number two out of my interface, and so on. This way, it is very, very simple every time I load a drum session to just load that preset, um, create my tracks, and allocate the input to the correct bus, okay, the correct uh, input out of the interface. So kick in, I'm going to choose kick in, okay, same name, very simple. And I always use the same names anyways when I record drums. Uh, snare, again, I'm going to choose snare as an input and so on. So it makes my life easier, very, very easy to uh, uh, to select the correct input to the correct track, okay? So I hope that makes sense for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to share, to like, to subscribe, and to hit the notification bell. Even if you're already subscribed, click the notification bell, get notified. Until next time, see you.